Now to a 12 News exclusive. As our kids are home from school for a few days, they're likely to be on their phones or iPads even more than normal. But do you know which apps they're using? Well, some of them put them at risk of becoming a victim. Team 12's Tram I joins us now with the dangerous apps your kids may be using without you even knowing it. Tram? We're giving you five of the most popular, but also the most dangerous apps that could be on your kids' phones. These apps are giving a lot of private information away, and because of that, they've become a predator's breeding ground. In the sea of apps these days, parents need to be aware of what their kids are using. Some parents don't really look through the apps just assuming there's games. But they're not, especially if your kids are 8 to 16 years old. They could be telling predators a lot about themselves. They give all sorts of personal information about age. You can see their body. Katie McPherson is a youth prevention advocate and mother of four. She says there are five dangerously popular apps parents need to know about. First up, TikTok. Kids love it. More than a billion users, but her biggest concern? Yes, it's fun. Yes, the dancing and music is fun. But more importantly, they're in their bedrooms and their bathrooms sharing their body and their home and their school logos. And it's truly a predator's breeding ground. Next up, Omegle. This one is probably the most dangerous because you can say that you're 18 years old when you're 55. So any random stranger who can be clothed or not clothed. There's even a disclaimer on Omegle's website that reads, predators have been known to use Omegle, so please be careful. Number three, best secret folder, known as a vault app, a secret place to hide photos. Here's how it works. Voila. Here are all of these secret photos. Another random stranger chat app, Monkey. Okay, these are the training videos. These are people nearby us that would like to chat with us. Random strangers, and you start video chatting with these people nearby. Finally, Plenty of Fish, a dating website for people 18 and older. Again, people lie all the time about what their profession is, what they look like. You get to the date, it's not the person. And so there are so many easy, free ways to keep your children safe, but you have to be paying attention. Another way parents can monitor their kids' phones, McPherson says you can go into the phone settings and most of the major carriers have a mechanism that doesn't allow your child to download the app without your permission. Back to you. All right, Tram, thank you.